I'm all about tools. Not the kind of tools you'd find in a hardware store, but tools, mental tools that you can use to make life easier and better. You're going to learn something today that you can do in under a minute that will spark your awareness of the present moment wherever you are and whatever you're doing. It all started when I was in my 20s and I was walking in Manhattan with a friend of mine and I turned to her and I said, I want to feel my feet. She looked at me like I was crazy. I had it all. I was teaching school. I had a boyfriend. I had friends. My life looked great. But I was disconnected from me. Many years later, I found myself back in school getting another master's degree, this time in positive psychology, the science of human flourishing. What is it that happy, more resilient people have and do that less happy, less resilient people don't? My goal was to take this information and make it accessible to as many people as possible. I pictured myself sitting with Oprah in her garden on the couch next to Matt Lauer on the Today Show. I started writing my book. I even envisioned my own happiness television show. We are all trying to do so much. Get into a good college. Find your passion, get a job, make money, be in the right relationship. Our minds are on overdrive. A recent Harvard study suggests that we spend over 50% of our time awake with our minds wandering, and that it's often not a happy place to be. This, there's a great cost to our health and well-being when we spend so much of our time either dwelling in the past or worrying about the future. This stress takes its toll on our minds and our bodies. Not only does it affect our happiness every day, but it affects our ability to learn, to remember, make good decisions, and be resilient in the face of life's challenges. So what can we do? We need to learn how to come back into the present moment over and over again. We need to press that pause button. We need to become more mindful. Mindfulness is purposely focusing your attention on the present moment. When was the last time that you did that? Purposely focused your attention on the present moment. It's not so easy. I learned that meditation was a gateway to living a more mindful life. But what I found was that it was very difficult for a lot of people. Even though it's extremely beneficial, you would hear a lot of, I don't have time. I can't shut my mind off. I'll never be able to meditate. So I thought about it. What is it that I do that helps me keep coming back into the moment? One of the things I did was I created the ultimate visual reminder for myself. That's my license plate. And I realized that since I had it and it wasn't possible for every one of you to have it, I needed something else. So I developed a BBS method. Simple, breath, body, sound. Can we try it? Great, let's do it right now. So close your eyes and just feel your breath going in and out of your body just as it is. Don't do anything with it. Now your body. Connect to your body. What are you feeling? Are your shoulders up at your ears? Is your stomach growling? Does your back hurt? Now sounds. Notice what you're, what you're hearing right now. Maybe you hear the heater. Maybe the person next to you breathing. Maybe your own breath. Now rest in awareness of all three. Your breath, just as it is. Your body, what you're feeling. And the sounds that you're hearing right now. Slowly open your eyes and notice how you're feeling. You have access to BBS 24-7. 
It is your own personal pharmacy. And you don't even have to deal with the insurance company. Breath, body, sound. As easy as that. You can do BBS anywhere, anytime. You can do it before a test, before an interview, before a date. I've even done it in the middle of Grand Central Station in New York City. I kept my eyes open, of course, but you can do it with your eyes open. In fact, the more you practice it, the easier it becomes. It's like a tool that you can take out of your pocket and use whenever you want. Imagine being in control of your emotions and not being at the mercy of the situation that you're in. You may not be able to control your circumstances, but you can choose how you react to them. Richard Davidson, a neuroscientist at the University of Wisconsin, uses brain imaging to study behavior and emotion. And he found that what differentiates resilient people is their ability to recognize when they have that panicky feeling and then calm themselves down. We all feel that way. We all feel that way at times. We're human, but we just don't need to linger there. BBS has changed my life, and it can change yours. It's like coming home from wherever you are, being more mindful and coming back into the moment. Each and every one of you can experience the moments of your life more fully. You can feel your feet right now. Thank you. <laughs>